I guess the, the overarching aim of the IEU and a lot of epidemiology is to draw conclusions about causes. So does high blood pressure cause you to be more likely to have a heart attack? And what I'm aiming to do with my programme is minimise the biases when you're doing that sort of analysis. So make the best evidence for drawing causal conclusions. I suppose I work halfway between applied and methodological. So I tend to work with people who have a question they want to answer with some data and then try and look at what are the problems that there are with getting the answers and then try and work out with some mathematicians or some statisticians what their answers there might be for their problem. So it's very much taking the question, looking at the maths, looking at the statistics, looking at the methods there are for answering the question and then feeding that back into the original question. So one of the main problems I'm looking at at the moment is that the the people who join in to a research project tend to be different in lots of little ways that we can't always predict from the kind of people who, who don't volunteer to be in a research project. And then once people have joined the study, different things might make them drop out over time. And that, they may be related to their health. So for example, if you, if you become of poorer health, you might not want to carry on being in a research project or other things that happen in people's lives. So what you end up with is trying to draw conclusions from a group of people who don't represent the whole population. So that leads to uh, something called selection bias. So what we're looking at is developing ways to, well, first of all, tell that that's happening. And then secondly, to try and minimise its effect so that we can draw true causal conclusions.